Peppa Pig Tails. Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running. Sorry again. Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is, everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh, oh. Have a splendid time, Mr Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks. Get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! <laughs> Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Oh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no no splashing! splashing. <laughs> it is Christmas Eve. And Daddy Pig is putting the Christmas tree on the car so it can be decorated at home. Peppa is helping. Whee! Phew! Peppa? <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! We've got all the new decorations! Daddy! Perfect! Now let's head home. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is very excited to decorate the tree. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one Hey! <gasps> Why have we stopped, Daddy? I'm not sure we're going to fit in the tunnel with this tree. Let's try going slowly. Bits of the tree are falling off. Hmm. We'll have to go the long way round. <laughs> wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Why is the car so bumpy? Whee! <laughs> The trees on the road are brushing against the tree on our car. Oh, no! Maybe this road with no trees will be better. 
this road has no trees, so the wind is blowing the Christmas tree. Oh, oh dear. All the pines must have fallen off on the way. But we need a tree for Christmas. Bertie! <gasps> George has given Pepper an idea. We can still decorate the tree and make it really fun and Christmassy. That's a wonderful idea, Pepper. Pepper and her family get to work decorating their new special kind of Christmas tree. Hooray! It looks lovely. This bird thinks the Christmas tree looks lovely too. Birdie! <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Now the birds can have Christmas too. The birds love their new Christmas tree. Everybody loves the new Christmas tree. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> That's cold. But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. Whee! Hello, Daddy. Pepper, you're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five ah. more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more mi... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! <laughs> Quick, let's hide. Oh dear. Let's hide here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> The snow monster has found them. Peppa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> it's Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> I told you there's no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh. Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the world. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> <sighs> Pepper's family are having a New Year's Eve party and all the guests are arriving. Hello, Pepper. Are you excited to stay up until midnight? I'm going to have a nap, so I'm really awake for the fireworks. <sighs> Looks like George needs a nap too. Would you like a nap, Pepper? No, Mummy. We're big, so we're going to stay up until midnight. Let's go and play in my room. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> huh? <laughs> 
What's that sound? <coughs> Wake <coughs> up, Peppa. You fell asleep. <coughs> no, I didn't. I'm big, so I don't need a nap. How are we going to stay awake? Uh... Oh, let's make each other jump. Then we'll be really awake. Let's try it. <laughs> I know what will keep us awake. Hide and seek. I'll be it. <laughs> One, two, three. Here I come. Oh, found you. <laughs> Ouch. Huh? Found you. <gasps> I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Huh? Found you, <gasps> Peppa! Uh, what? I wasn't sleeping. Peppa and her friends hmm. are trying to think of another way to stay awake. <laughs> Let's have something to eat. <coughs> These are yummy. Now I'm so full. I'm not tired anymore. Ma. Uh, Emily, wake up. Wake up! <gasps> it's almost midnight. <gasps> we almost missed it. Maybe you should have taken a nap mm. like us. It's time for the fireworks. Fireworks. Five. Five. Peppa Four. loves staying up late Three. on New Year's Eve. Everyone loves staying up late on New Year's Eve. Boing! 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 Emily Elephant is bouncing on a space hopper. Why are you bouncing in the sandpit, Emily? It's my New Year's resolution! What is that? It's a challenge you have to do for the whole year. Mine's bouncing! Boing! Boing! I want a New Year resolution too. Peppa and her friends are going to make their own New Year's resolutions. I'm going to score a gazillion goals. <laughs> <laughs> One, <laughs> two. I'm going to talk in gobbledygook. Bingly bangly bibbly bobbly wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Going to be a tiger. Roar! 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 Hmm. I think my New Year's resolution will be to jump in muddy puddles. I just have to find some first. <coughs> Six! Uh, one! Nine! Uh, four! Danny Dog is muddling his numbers. And getting very tired. Boing, 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 roar! <gasps> Candy Cat's roars have given Emily Elephant a fright. Emily Elephant has lost her space hopper. Where are you, Muddy Puddles? Peppa can't find any Muddy Puddles. Um, oh, hmm. Can you see any Muddy Puddles, Susie? No, I can't. Um, I mean, muddily, muddily, puddily, puddily. Rawr! Everyone is Rawr! finding their Rawr! New Year's resolutions Bear. quite hard. <laughs> what are you all doing? Uh, we're doing our New Year's reservations. Uh, 11 to 12. Mine is jumping in muddy puddles. But I can't find any. Ho, ho, ho. New Year's resolutions aren't about doing these sorts of challenges. Aren't they? No. They're about choosing nice things to do in the next year. 
Things like helping with the washing up. Or tidying your room. <laughs> oh. oh! Phew! That sounds much easier than scoring a gazillion goals. Speak for yourself. One hundred and one. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get ready for playgroup, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Peppa's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Peppa <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa. I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Pepper. That's a very full backpack you've got there. <coughs> and quite heavy, too. <sighs> Phew. What have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my. Some candy cane. Delicious. Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm. Maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. I think we'll have to take the car today, Peppa. Oh, OK. I know you're sad Christmas is over, but I promise Playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at Playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress-up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also loves going back to Playgroup. Everyone loves going back to Playgroup. Found one. A big one. Granny Pig has asked Pepper and George to find some fruit and vegetables for lunch. First on the list is a fruit that can be red or green. What do you think that can be? Hmm. <laughs> George, we don't have time to eat. We have to find fruit for lunch. <gasps> An apple. They can be red or green. Next, we have to find a long vegetable that is orange and crunchy. I know. Rebecca Rabbit always brings carrots to playgroup. They are long and orange and crunchy. Grandpa, where are the carrot trees? <laughs> Not everything grows on trees. Some vegetables grow in the ground. I'll help you, George. <laughs> 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 
next up is a vegetable that looks like small trees. I can only see big trees, Grandpa, not small ones. These stools look like little trees. They're broccoli. Oh, ho, ho, ho. very good, Pepper. Last on the list is oranges. That's odd. I don't think I grow any oranges. If there are oranges here, George and I will find them, Grandpa. Pepper and George are searching everywhere for an orange. Uh. <laughs> orange! That is the right colour, but not what we are looking for. Oranges are round. But they can't seem to find one anywhere. We found the orange! <laughs> that is the right colour, and it is round, <gasps> but that is a pumpkin. Oh. oh. <gasps> oranges! Where did you find those oranges, Granny? We looked everywhere. From the supermarket, of course. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is. Hooray! Delicious. <laughs> Dinosaur. George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have... Hmm, that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. Oh. It's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, oh, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. <gasps> oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Susie! Goodbye, Peppa! Oh! Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is Backwards Day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Pepper and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it! Try to catch me! <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh. Coming! <laughs> oh. I know! Let's play backwards in the park! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Pepper and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Pepper and Susie Sheep spend Backwards Day playing in the park. Backwards swinging feels the same as forwards. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think Backwards Day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed Backwards Day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> Stop! Today, Peppa and her family <gasps> are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> 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 and another. <gasps> hmm. <Ooh. gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh, um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. 
we go into the duck pond, wiggle, wiggle, whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time. I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. It's Valentine's Day. Peppa and George are making a special dinner Whoops. for Mummy and Daddy Pig. Grandpa Pig is helping. Goodness. We're making special Valentine's Day pizzas, Granny Pig. Because Valentine's Day is all about showing others that you love them. I know. We can make the pizzas heart-shaped. <laughs> now... We toss the dough up into the air, just like they do in Roma. That's a place in Italy, you know. <laughs> Aha! Hmm. Whoops! <laughs> just like in Roma. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. We can cover the lumpy bits with some vegetables <gasps> from the garden. Oh. Mummy and Daddy Pig are not sure what's going on. Peppa and George are collecting vegetables. The pizzas are going to have lots of toppings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the vegetables inside. Peppa and George <laughs> add vegetables to their pizza. I know how to make the pizzas even more special. We can add Mummy and Daddy Pig's favourite foods. Good idea, Peppa. What are their favourite foods? <laughs> Spaghetti and chocolate cake. <laughs> Yay! We should make the pizzas look like Mummy and Daddy. Peppa and George make faces with the pizza toppings. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now they're really special. <sighs> oh, George. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate cake? My favourite! <laughs> A spaghetti dinosaur! Thank you, Pepper and George. <laughs> they look too good to eat. Mummy and Daddy Pig think their Valentine pizzas are very special indeed. Well, hey! Today is Valentine's Day. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Valentine's Day. Splendid! We need lots of decorations for Mummy Pig's big surprise. What big surprise? We're going to make a special Valentine's Day surprise for when Mummy Pig comes home. <laughs> Better get cracking. Hooray! Peppa and George are having fun making Valentine's Day decorations. And Daddy Pig is having fun hanging the decorations. Uh -huh. But Daddy Pig Oops. is not being careful. <laughs> and ta-da! Ta Perfect. Now, what's next? Hmm. Mm. <gasps> Perhaps we should tidy up. Ooh, let's make Valentine's pancakes first. <laughs> ah! Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are making yummy heart-shaped pancakes. Ha! Now for the fun bit, whisking. 
This is fun. <laughs> Peppa loves whisky. Peppa really loves whisky. Oh my. Careful. If you make too much mess, we won't have enough mix to make Valentine's pancakes. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Now, we'd better get tidying. <laughs> but what about a Valentine's card, Daddy? Oh, yes. Mm. Daddy Pig isn't sure whether to make the card or tidy up the mess. <laughs> Quickly now. Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig make a Valentine's card. But Mummy Pig is almost home. <laughs> and done. Now, just enough time to tidy up before... <laughs> What's going on in here? Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day! We made you a card. And pancakes. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Things got a bit messy as we worked, but as a last Valentine's surprise, we'll get tidying up, won't we? <laughs> Mummy Pig loves her Valentine surprise, and Pepper, George and Daddy Pig <laughs> love making it and cleaning up after it. <laughs> Go long, Pepper! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are learning about American Daddy, football. You. That is a very bouncy egg. <laughs> this is not an egg. This is a football. No! Footballs are round. And you don't throw them, you kick them. This is a special football from America. <laughs> American footballs are egg-shaped. And you mostly throw them. Nay! <laughs> Silly egg ball! <laughs> egg ball! Egg ball! Egg ball! <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are dressed in American football kit. You all look great in your kit. Especially you, Pedro. Every team needs a mascot. Cock a doodle doo! <laughs> now you're ready to play American football. Um, I mean, egg ball. Egg ball! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to win points in uh, egg ball, you have to be really good at catching the ball. <laughs> Got it! Oh! Oh! <gasps> you can also get points by kicking the ball through a big goal like this one. Ooh! Peppa, would you like to kick the ball into the goal? Kicking? Like normal football. I'm good at that. <laughs> Uh. I don't think egg ball is as fun as normal football. Susie, would you like a turn? has caught the ball, so she gets a point. I did it! Now for the best part of American football. I mean, egg ball. <laughs> After you score a point, you do a dance. Peppa and her friends love egg ball. Everyone loves egg ball. Egg ball! Egg ball! Egg ball! <laughs> Whoa! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't 
don't worry, it's not a real ant, it's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! yes! Yay! Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee <laughs> costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? Bzz, bzz. Well, go. Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. <laughs> bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz. We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. Beautiful work, everyone! Yay! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. It's a <gasps> butterfly. Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah! the pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Peppa pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Can I help? Let's 
let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. <laughs> Everyone loves Pancake Day. Peppa is arriving at Playgroup. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Bonjour, Peppa. You are just in time for a very special game. Madam Gazelle has divided the room into four colours. Red, blue, green and yellow. You can join the green team, Peppa. Here is your bib. Et voila! <laughs> now, in this game, I will give you a category. What's a category? A category is a group of things. I will say a category, and you have to find something that matches your colour. So, if I say food... That means we have to find food. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just an example, but... OK, let's begin. Everyone is very excited to play the game. Bananas! These are very yellow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Tomatoes are red. Susie Sheep's blue food is a blueberry. <laughs> Nothing is bluer than a blueberry. This leaf is green. Unfortunately, Peppa, it is not food. You cannot eat that leaf. But a caterpillar can. <laughs> well done! Hooray! Now, I think the next category is toys. But let me check my list. Which I have lost. Hmm. Everyone at Playgroup loves finding toys. <laughs> That was too easy. I've got another category. What is it? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is taking a long time to find her list. <laughs> Found it. Now, let's carry on with... Oh, my. We finished the game, Madam Gazelle. We found everything in the whole room. <laughs> well, in that case, let us play a new game. Putting everything away again. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> I'm a witch. Ooh. Peppa, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog and Freddy Fox are dressing up to play a game. I'm going to be a brave knight. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a footballer. Hooray! Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Peppa is imagining George is a goblin. Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy from that goblin. <gasps> yes! That's George, Pepper. We're just <laughs> pretending, Freddy. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's the goblin and Teddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is fast asleep. Let's pretend Daddy is a sleeping dragon. Shh. And let's pretend the living room is a cave. Ooh. <laughs> Follow me. We have to be 
be quiet so we don't wake the dragon. I must have dozed off. Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. We'll use magic to rescue Teddy. And I'll use my football. Hello, little goblin. We're here to rescue Teddy. George doesn't want to be a goblin. Oh, do you want to help us rescue Teddy instead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if George isn't a goblin, then who has Teddy? Dinosaur! Now everyone is pretending that the dinosaur has Teddy. <laughs> Teddy has been rescued by the witch, the wizard, the brave knight, a footballer and George, who is not a goblin. Today, everyone is playing in Peppa's garden. Emily Elephant has slipped into a big muddy puddle. <gasps> Monster! No! Monsters aren't real! It's a... <gasps> Hedgehog! Phew! The hedgehog has slipped in the muddy puddle too. Don't worry, we'll help you get out. Whoa! The hedgehog has become a prickly ball, but Edmund knows what to do. We need to get some help from a grown-up because the hedgehog is lost and prickly and we need to be careful. Oh! Mummy Pig! Daddy Pig! Mummy Pig has come to help everyone out of the muddy puddle. And Daddy Pig is helping the hedgehog. His thick gloves keep him safe from the hedgehog's spiky back. You can put the hedgehog here. There's a blanket in there so it's nice and toasty. Blanky! Wonderful. Careful now, hedgehogs can be a little bit prickly. Hooray! I'll call you Prickles. Prickles! Dr. Hamster has come to check that Prickles is safe and healthy. It was very clever to call me for help. Hooray! Prickles has rolled up into a ball again. Why does Prickles do that, Dr. Hamster? Hedgehogs roll into balls when they're scared to keep themselves safe. Oh, so Prickles is scared? It's just a bit noisy, that's all. If we keep quiet, maybe a little bit of apple will help Prickles feel relaxed. <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant have found more than a little bit of apple. Ah! Hooray! <gasps> there, some food and rest. And we can release Prickles into the garden when the sun goes down. Why can't we do it now? Hedgehogs are nocturnal, which means they like to explore at night and sleep in the daytime. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. Oops, sorry Prickles. The sun is going down, which means it's time for Prickles to go back home. Where do hedgehogs live, Dr. Hamster? Why, in hedges, of course. <coughs> Bye, Prickles. Come and visit us again soon. Everyone loves spending time with Prickles and everyone loves seeing him get home safely. Today, Pepper is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. Oh, <laughs> bless you, Pepper. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called pollen. Bees 
please carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, <laughs> little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Pepper isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean... Buzz, buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for all the kind things they do. Pepper and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes, baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> 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 Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Pepper. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> Um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Goal! goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> But not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? Oh, I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Whee! 
Miss Rabbit. Certainly. Oh. <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh. I don't think that worked either, George. Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. Ooh. And that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm the referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. <laughs> What's wrong, Pepper? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. Pepper likes being the referee, and she really likes blowing the whistle. <laughs> Your shoelace is undone. <gasps> You're not smiling. Oh! You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Peppa is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. Oh! <gasps> You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh! Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof. Can we have a go now? I want a kick. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> Referee! This duck is too sweet. Referee Peppa! <laughs> Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That's okay, Daddy. 
But I think it's your turn to referee now. <laughs> <laughs> Today, at Playgroup, Madame Gazelle has a special surprise. <gasps> yeah! Ah, phew! Is it Halloween again? I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a tree. Squeak! I'm going to be a wizard tree. <laughs> <laughs> No, children. Pumpkins aren't only used to celebrate Halloween. They're also used to celebrate a special holiday in America called Thanksgiving. Can I still be a wizard tree for Thanksgiving? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Something else people do on Thanksgiving is make a cornucopia. Corny, copy what? That sounds silly. Cornucopia? It's a horn-shaped basket that holds fruits and vegetables that grow in the autumn. We're going to oh. make one of our own. <laughs> Thank you. Fresh fruits oh. and vegetables are certainly things I'm grateful for. One story even says cornucopias can magically refill themselves. Ooh, can this refill itself? Sadly not. The playgroup <laughs> is making their own Thanksgiving cornucopia by collecting things that they're thankful for. I'm thankful for acorns and pumpkins. <laughs> I'm going to add this chocolate bar from my lunchbox. I love chocolate bars. <laughs> oh, maybe just one bite. <gasps> Ooh, the wrapper is the best part anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> that was close. You've all made a beautiful cornucopia. It's home time, and Peppa is showing Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig what she learned today. This is a cornucopia. It's part of Thanksgiving and helps remind us to be thankful for all the yummy food we get to eat. Lovely indeed. Oh, but your cornucopia is reminding my tummy how hungry it is. <laughs> <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Pepper. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. 
Pedro. The red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Pepper loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. Wow! Well, hi, Pepper. You're just in time. The fireworks will begin in five, four, three, two, one. The fireworks are going so high. Whoa. Pepper thinks fireworks are very noisy. The fireworks are really loud, Grandpa. Oh, dear. Why don't we go further back? They'll be quieter if they're far away. We're going to the back, where the fireworks won't be so loud. Good idea. We'll come too. Excuse me, please. Us again. I'm sorry. sorry. <gasps> Is that better, Peppa? Um, yes. Thank you, Danny. Great. Now we all can enjoy how nice the fireworks look. There's so many colours. Red and blue. And green. Oh, and yellow. Peppa is having <laughs> lots of fun Yay! watching the fireworks. And now it's time for the big fireworks. Hold on to your hats, everyone! Bigger? Does that mean louder? <gasps> oh, my! What should we do? We can't go any further back. We'll have to go home. But I want to see the fireworks. I just don't want to hear them. I know. Ah. Sometimes my granddad's garage is really loud too. So I use these. Headphones? Yes. Ooh. They cover your ears and make loud sounds more quiet. Do you want to try them? <gasps> wow. That's much better! Thank you, Danny! <laughs> no need to shout, Pepper. We can't hear the fireworks! <laughs> <laughs> but Candy doesn't look very happy. No! It's so cold! <laughs> Snow is always cold. That's part of the fun. I didn't think it'd be this cold. Can we play inside in the warm? Oh, but I want to play in the snow. Pepper and Candy mm. don't know what to do. I know. Why don't we do one snow game and one inside game? And we see which is best. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Pepper and Candy are making a snowman. It's very tall. That was fun. Hmm. Just need a nice woolly hat. <gasps> Whoa! 
Meow! I think we should go inside and get warm now. Mm. Peppa and Candy have made a <laughs> pillow fort. It is very cosy and warm. There! All finished. It's perfect. This was a fun idea. Phew! It's very warm in here. Why don't we try something in the snow to cool down? Peppa and Candy spend the day playing lots of different games. <laughs> they go sledding outside. Whee! <gasps> oh. <gasps> they drink delicious hot chocolate. <sighs> and make lovely snow angels. <gasps> <laughs> they even race around indoors. <laughs> and outdoors. But they can't agree what is best. We've tried everything. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Candy. Why the sad faces? We can't find something to do that is fun in the warm and in the cold. That is difficult. Oh, how about some delicious fruity snow cones? <gasps> They're made of nice cold snow wow. and perfect to be enjoyed in the warm inside. Mmm, thank you, Miss Rabbit. Wow, thank you. Peppa and Candy both agree that this is best. <laughs> Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <sighs> hmm. Something else is missing. Oh! Something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here, maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold! <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <gasps> oh, I can fit through anything. <sighs> <sighs> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. <sighs> Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! My trophy cake! 
I'm very sorry, Mummy Pig. It's okay. We'll just have to make a new one. But there's only ten minutes until the match starts. Well, we'd better get a wriggle on then. To the supermarket! All right. Who wants to play football? Yes! Yay! We've not got much time, so we're going to have to split up. Peppa, you and I will find the sponge cakes. Hooray! Granny Pig, you and Mandy Mouse find the icing. Whee! And Daddy Pig, you and George are in charge of sprinkles. Sprinkles! Let's go! Let's go! Aim for the top corner. There, in the top corner. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. Well done. Pop it in the basket. Hooray! I can save three shots at once. Ha! Ah. We'll need three sponge cakes, Peppa. Whoa! Phew! Well done, team. We've got all the ingredients. Now let's get back home and make this cake. Everyone is very busy making the new cake. How many goals is that? One hundred or one hundred and one? We made a new cake! Hooray! And just in time, the game's about to start! Hooray! Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths, like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, OK. <sighs> Of 
colourful fish. Yes, well done. And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Peppa, don't drop the egg. OK. <laughs> Slow down, Danny. But don't go too slow. Slower. Faster. Slower. No faster. <laughs> Squeak! <laughs> uh, uh, no! <gasps> Phew! Phew! <laughs> 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 
It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. If I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah. We had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the blue team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The pink team and the blue team love Sports Day. Everyone loves Sports Day. <laughs> splash, splash! <laughs> Dinosaur! Today, Peppa and George are helping to make <laughs> Christmas lunch. They are giving the vegetables a bath. Quack, quack! <laughs> yes! They need bath toys. There you go, vegetables. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant when I said wash the vegetables. I finished cooking the potatoes. Why don't you and George mash them? Yes, yes. Potatoes! <laughs> not with your hands, with these. <laughs> OK, Daddy. Now, what's next, Mummy Pig? Done. That was quick. Ho, ho, ho. You've made an igloo out of potato. What fun. You can help me ice the cake now. Yes, please. With a few bits of green icing and some splodges of white icing, it looks like mistletoe. Mistletoe! Hooray! Our turn, our turn. Here you go, Peppa. You do the leaves. And George, you do the... Ooh! <laughs> like this? Well, not quite. But this is much more fun than mistletoe. It looks like a snowman. Snowman! <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are arriving for Christmas lunch. Happy Christmas, ev... Oh! Oh, my. Peppa and George's Christmas lunch looks messier than Grandma Pig expected. Peppa and George have been helping us make the Christmas lunch. It's not how we'd normally do it. No, but it's much more fun. Peppa and her family enjoy a lovely Christmas lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with lots of laughter. And some fun new traditions, too. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Ooh. That feels so and her playgroup are playing lots of games today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like jelly. Correct. Hmm. Aha! Feels like a banana. Correct again. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Mm. Tastes 
like banana too. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Pedro. But I don't want to touch something smushy. It'll be okay. Our smushy things were delicious. Oh, it's cold and made of metal. Is it a key? It is. Well done, Pedro. Hooray! It's a key to a special mystery box. You need to find two more to unlock the prize. Ooh! How do we find more, Madam Gazelle? In our next game, of course. These are piñatas. You have to find the exciting surprises inside. How do we do that? You break them open with these soft foam bats. Uh, 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 uh. Hooray! It's full of snow. <laughs> Mine too. <gasps> oh. Oh. Only one more to go. I love Parsa Parcel. Me too. Me too. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I won. This is a very long song. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Oh, the music stopped! <laughs> Hooray! Now Peppa and her friends have found all three keys, it's time to find out their prize. <laughs> wow! Christmas biscuits! <gasps> Yum! You did it, Peppa! You all did it together, Pedro. Hooray! Snap! Oh. Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Play snakes and ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. <gasps> oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 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 My pink marble is winning. I know. Let's play Pack the Parrot. Ooh! I love Pack the Parrot. But my marble is winning. It's going to pop up. I can't look. I know. Let's play snap again. <laughs> <laughs> snap. Snakes and ladders. Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. I 
think we all won. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I think it might be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> <laughs> Children, who would like a pen pal? Me! Me! What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a boy or girl you can write letters to. This little girl lives in France. Her name is Delphine Donkey. Can Delphine Donkey be my pen pal? Of course, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> it is early morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Post! Peppa and George <laughs> love it when the post arrives. It's addressed to Miss Peppa Pig. That's me! <coughs> Mummy, can you read it for me? Of course. It's from Delphine Donkey. My pen pal! <laughs> what does she say? Bonjour, Peppa. Comment ça va? Mummy, why are you saying those funny words? It's French, Peppa. It means, hello, how are you? What else does she say? Hmm. I'll help. Jame les princesses et jouer avec mes amis. <laughs> Clever daddy. <laughs> I am an expert at French. What does it mean? Um... Daddy Pig cleans his glasses so he can see the letter more clearly. Hmm. It's no good. It's nonsense. It means I like fairy princesses and playing with my friends. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk French. Maybe you could talk to Delphine Donkey. How? Her phone number is on this letter. Yippee! <laughs> Bonjour. Est-il possible que Peppa parle à Delphine? Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <clears throat> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, how are you? In French. Dinosaur. No, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> it is morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! <laughs> Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. Aww. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. Oh, I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. Oh, here are my mama and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour! Oh. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello! Hello. <coughs> Dinosaur! <coughs> Dragon! <coughs> 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 Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, parlons sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, J'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Egg. Oh, ho. hello, Peppa. Hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Hello, my little ones. That is Granny Pig's voice. But where is she? 
Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig. Gangy egg. Why is Granny in the roof? We're tidying the attic. What's the attic? It's where we keep all our old things. Like you, Grandpa Pig. Ha ha! Things that are even older than me. <laughs> Can we help? <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa's attic is at the very top of the house. That's the door to the attic. How do we get up there? I have a clever trick. Hello, my little ones. It's Granny. Come on up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is our attic. Wow. It's very full. Yes, it's full of old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are here to help us throw some things out. Good. Let's start by throwing out this box. Oh, not that box. Do we really need this? That's my ship in a bottle. And this? That's my other ship in a bottle. And these? They're my other ships in bottles. I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to throw something out. Uh, how about this box? No, not my hats. <laughs> oh dear, we can't decide what to throw out I know, we'll let Pepper and George decide OK <laughs> Let's throw away this old case Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one This isn't just any old case It's a record player Ooh. And this was our favourite record Can we play it? Yes Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. Oh, oh this takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig can't find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> again, again. The birds go woof, woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, 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 woof, 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 woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo, ba, woof, tweet, woof, ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Peppa, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm. I think you should keep everything. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Susie Sheep are playing Snap. Snap! I win! <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Snap! I win again! <laughs> You cheated. I did not. You looked at the card. I did not. I don't want to play with you anymore. <coughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. <coughs> oh dear. Pepper and Susie have had a quarrel. <coughs> Mummy Sheep is here to take Susie home. Pepper, say bye bye to Susie. <coughs> I am not talking to her, and I'm not talking to her. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure they'll make it up. They are best friends, really. It is not funny. We are not best friends anymore. 
Daddy Pig is making supper. Peppa! George! Supper time! It's spaghetti! <laughs> What's the matter, Peppa? Peppa and Susie have had a little quarrel. Oh. But I do miss Susie a bit. Hmm. Let's give Susie a call. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. <coughs> May Peppa talk with Susie, please? Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. We can be friends again, if you say sorry. I'm sorry I said you cheated. Even though you did cheat. Well, I'm sorry you were ever my best friend. Oh. It doesn't matter. I can easily find a new best friend. It is a lovely sunny day. All the children are at the playground. Danny Dog is on the roundabout with his best friend, Pedro Pony. George is on the seesaw with his best friend, Richard Rabbit. <laughs> Susie's sheep is on the swings, on her own. <sighs> Peppa is playing mini golf, on her own. <sighs> Here is Emily Elephant. Can I have a go? Yes! <laughs> Emily, Susie's sheep is not my best friend anymore. <sniffs> so you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Candy Cat. Oh. Meow. <laughs> you want, you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Ah, good. I see you two are friends again. We are not friends. We will never be friends again. Hmm. I think it's about time you two made it up. Peppa, say sorry to Susie. Only if she says sorry for First. Only if she says sorry first. I know. I'll count to three and you can both say sorry at the same time. All right. One, two, three. Sorry. Now you can be best friends again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, let's play mini golf. Good idea. Peppa and Susie are best friends again. Me first. My go. My ball went in the hole, so I win. But my ball knocked it in, so I win. You're just making the rules up. You are making the rules up. I win. No, I win. <laughs> you two are just the same. <laughs> That's why Susie's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and Peppa is my best friend in the whole world ever. <laughs> <laughs> it is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> Goodness me! Why are all these toys on your bed? That's where they live. Quickly, put the toys away in your toy basket. But the toy basket is full. Oh, so it is. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. <laughs> the last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. But, Daddy, it's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now, on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations. Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody. <laughs> it is morning, and Mr Zebra the postman has a special delivery. Post! <laughs> special delivery for Miss Pepper Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. 
Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes! <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Peppa. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. Oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> The instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <coughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. 